Welcome back to another Naruto x Boruto Ninja Voltage video. So for this, we're going to go ahead and just kind of accomplish some gameplay, of course. That's why you're here. But we're going to also just kind of do some attack missions mainly. So as you see, I have Itachi. Still working on my Itachi. Uh, I'm not done with the hero fragments. Just need to get, uh, what is that? 135 whatever it is to finish him off and then I do need a few more jutsus for him uh, I need all of his regular jutsus. I don't know how many there are but I know that he has the fire style one because that one's featured on the new banner uh, Funnily enough. I just randomly yolo summoned this uh, Just pretty much after the last ninja voltage video in which I did the guaranteed pull I was going to like you know, they gave out 50 Shinobite at that time, and I was like, oh, I'm just going to go ahead and do one pull to see if I can maybe get, uh, you know, Sasuke's Lightning Stream because I need that too. And I was like, it's going to be crap. And I see the, the gold card. I'm like, oh, my God, please don't give me another Chidori. Just please. Just please. And I was like, thank you. Thank you so much. So I got that. And Itachi is really cool. Uh, Sukiyomi is a lot of fun. It's nice in uh, the fact that it's an AoE Jutsu. AoEs are really good. And before we get into some gameplay, though, I wanted to kind of show you guys this because this was really fun, uh, really funny, excuse me, uh, as far as like a defense wins for, for my uh, arena. I'm gonna zoom out, we're gonna go ahead and two times it, so it doesn't take super long. So this is a different one, like it's a, I'll show you guys, I think it's level six or like uh, the sixth variant or something like that. So I like it, it's pretty cool. Uh, I think I'm going to change it up though. Mine isn't as gimmicky as a lot of people's because I don't want mine to be stereotypical. <laughs> arena where it's like you know nothing but just trap 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 paper bomb paper bomb paper bomb so really quick uh summon beast is supposed to be there i alternate between the different ones uh when one is on cooldown right now i think manda's there so it kind of helps sometimes but the weird thing about it is is that you can't spin them they're facing against the wall so it's really weird uh so they have to kind of turn around which takes just a split second too long for quicker shinobi so i wanted to point that out but yeah i don't want mine to be just cancer like some of these are really really cancer where it's just like paper bomb paper bomb paper bomb paper bomb bear trap paper bomb smoke it's just come on now uh so anyways there are gonna be some bear traps but it's not a whole lot of them uh so this is my okay he's gonna go the other way okay we'll get back to that so i put that there to discourage people from just running through the gate when it's not fully open they take damage from that but it's like people still do it anyway uh, so this area is okay. Uh, it's really gimmicky, but if you have an AOE like that, it doesn't really matter. So Datorug can basically clear it. Uh, there's nothing else that way. So oh, that's another thing I like about this base is that it uh, it's not one that people play often. Um, so they're kind of confused as to where they should go sometimes unless they auto it. Even auto gets stuck. But this is my favorite area. Uh, so you'll see why. Because I put my Sasuke over here as opposed to in my regular defense team. And Sasuke actually has Chidori equipped. So when they come over here, the little thing equips or activates the, the mirror thing, which conceals the people. So there's actually two Shinobi here. There's Konkuro and there is a Sasuke. Konkuro is cool because he has that ranged attack. And there's a bear trap over there. There's also like some smoke, I believe. But Sasuke can catch people off guard with the Chidori when he's concealed. That's why I like this. I think, in fact, he does it here. So, like, they can't even see for the split second, but Sasuke's gonna get up and just Chidori right there. Soloed him. <laughs> that part is really funny to me because it's like, you know, by the time you see him, it's like, well, does he have a Jutsu or not? That's, that's why I like to put people that have ultimates in those positions because, you know, you can catch people off guard because a lot of people will probably just put them in their main defense team. So, anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. That was a lot of fun, and that, that one actually gave me a good laugh, legitimately, the first time I saw it. I was like, I wonder if Sasuke was the one that got him. So this looks like a standard fortress for uh, Kurama. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in with this team. I like this team, it works pretty well, and I do wanna try to show off Tsukiyomi a bit. Itachi's also cool because he has this flip. The flip allows him to pop over some bear traps and minor things like that. Uh, of course, I just jumped into a bear trap, but you get my point. Uh, all right, get out of here. Okay, so what's over here? Oh boy. And then the range of Shinobi's here with their stupid bows and arrows. And a bear trap right there. Thanks for getting caught, Sasuke. You did one for the culture, man. You took one for the culture. In fact, while you get out, I was gonna say, we're gonna move on. Fight the tortoises over here. I actually wanna take the opportunity to go see if Karama's here right now. Uh, he is okay, so I have to play it a little bit differently. Really, a bear trap? Why right here? That's really stupid. <laughs> I wonder, like, how many people actually get caught right there. That's got to be like a one in like 30 thing. 
probably. Just a random statistic, right? Can you guys finish off the stupid tortoise? Why are you guys way over there? Uh, Karama's cool, but it's really easy to beat him. Uh, you just kind of hang out right here, or you can just ultimate him. And I say this while Karama solos my team because I didn't use an ultimate or I didn't play that right. So now I have to play carefully because he actually... Seriously, Sasuke? Why? What are you guys doing? Hello? <laughs> All right, these dunces. Looks like I might as well just give this one up because I messed up on the Karama. Um, I was too busy commentating. It is kind of hard to do both. I'm not making an excuse. I'm just pointing out a fact. So I'm going to have to get better at that because I don't do it too often in this game. But yeah, I was going to say Karama, you just kind of wait and see what he does. Uh, and if he does bum rush you, he doesn't have very much HP. He really can go down really quickly. You can run to the back of him. You can wait by the entrance. You can do a lot of different things that allow you to get over Karama. So now that I know how to play it, <laughs> I won't make the same mistake again. Really? Really? Seriously? Freaking seriously? All right. And I'm going to get that. And I'm going to go see if he's there right now. Stupid bomb didn't get me that time. I want, to, I want one to be here. Ah, uh, he's not here. I won't want to be here so I can kind of redeem myself. Because <laughs> uh, the worst thing about it, though, is if you let Karama solo your healer, you're screwed pretty much. Well, I, you know, the thing is, I probably could have still won just on the merit of Tsukuyomi. I probably shouldn't have quit that last one. I probably could have won, but I just I didn't want to waste you guys' time, really. Just Tsukuyomi is so good, I probably could have got it. I'm going to get out of there uh, before that little shocker goes off. Those guys can advance on their own. Doesn't really matter to me. Go for it. Thanks. Cool. Yeah. All right. Let's go, guys. I'm going to move on. Sometimes people put a unit that has a jutsu here. So I like to just kind of solo this. But in that scenario, I didn't have to because Gara just went down really quickly. Uh, but I like to sometimes just use my Tsukuyomi right here or in the next one where you can't see because it's concealed. See? And there's a Shino here. But Shino, I don't think, has an ultimate in the game. But this is really good. I just like to go ahead and do that in that scenario. Can eliminate most of the Shinobi that are uh, concealed right there. So over here, he has Akisame, which is another unit you don't have to be worried about because he doesn't have an ultimate right now as far as I can recall. Feel free to correct me, though. So when they have units like that, you don't have to worry about it. All right, cool. Let's move on. I'm gonna come down here. At least I'm fighting standard bases, right? Oh, there's a Sadadai, which again, she doesn't have one. She's cool and all for her AOE Shuriken, but like, she doesn't have anything. If you guys don't, boy, if you don't, there we go. There we go. Oh, she blows. I gotta wait for Sukiyomi to go uh, back to full power so I can use it again to cool down. I need to use more abilities on Itachi. I don't have very many of those ability, like, what are they, coins or whatever. Gara is so slow. But I need to use them so I can um, get a slower cooldown on that. Or a faster cooldown, I guess. All right, we're ready. I like to run off to the side because they like to just all fling their jutsus at you. And they can't really get you in that scenario. I'm going to go ahead and use it already because they're all in range. Or the ones on the outside weren't. Excuse me, my misplay. So I need to be careful here because Naruto may try to... There it is. See? That's why I said I got to be careful. I have to be aware of Sakura. Now I have to be careful. Really careful. Thanks for the poison, uh, Shizune. I have to be really careful here. I'm going to just kind of probably wind up taking out Naruto. Yeah, I have to be careful of Sakura using her ultimate on me. If she even has one equipped. All right, poison. All right, cool. All right. Get out of there. I don't mind Shizune dying at this point. There we go. Got it. Had to kind of cheese it a little bit because I messed up the Tsukiyomi. Still getting used to it, so don't mind me. It wasn't a perfect run by any means, but hopefully this next one is pretty good. Regardless, hope you guys enjoy this and are having fun with me so far. Uh, I do love the game. I just wish that they would add more to it. But again, I'm not too hard on it because it is a new game and you got to give new games a chance. Although it's been like a month or month and a half or whatever by now, so... I do agree that they're starting to really just need to, you know, pick up the pace a little bit. Uh, he doesn't have much that I have to worry about aside from his regular team. The Shinobi that are going to pop up on the fortress are not going to be uh, too big of a problem. <laughs> People are starting to <laughs> they're starting to put the stupid bear trap right in front of the thing. If, unless that was always a thing, and that's just my fault. I don't play attack mission all too often. I criminally don't play it, but I need to play it a bit more. 
I just got tired of running into Karama every single time out, which I'm still doing, apparently, because I need to get my rank up, and he's not here. I kind of want to fight one again, man. Dang. Like, I want to just beat Karama's butt. <laughs> He is the only tailed beast that really is a problem, in my opinion. I think sometimes the other ones can be situationally good, but I think that that one's the worst one because he hits way too hard. Like, it's not even fair. He'll just one-shot whoever he is in most cases. Uh, if not, if they're higher in power, they'll probably have more HP and such, so they'll be able to survive it a little bit longer. Maybe that, you know, after you get hit once, you can heal up too, so you can, again, have some viability and just kind of last. But aside from that, low power, he's going to just screw you. Oh, hey, Rock Lee. I don't care about you at all. Uh, I don't want to get paralyzed. I'm going to get out of there. I don't want to deal with that. It's just kind of annoying. Gar, look at him just, all right, having a seizure. Uh, okay, so we're going to get a uh, Kisame over here. All right, I'm going to use it again. Don't know who all that hit, but it's fair. We already took all of them out, so let's go to move on over here. Um, Shino. Shino can be annoying. But apparently that one had no power, which is why I said, like, none of these guys had anything to be concerned about. So we're going to come down this way. Uh, who's over here? Naruto. So I actually have to be worried about Naruto. He could potentially have Rasengan. And that's how you can get screwed. Kind of like in that, wow, really low power. Kind of like in that replay I showed you where my Sasuke cut that guy off guard. That's why you do that. <laughs> if you have the ultimates to spare. Uh, okay, Itachi san, you're almost ready. If I use it in that position like I did earlier in the last two matches, actually, Itachi's almost ready by the time I get here. All right, so let's see if I can trigger Sukiyomi right this time around. Uh, we are good. Okay. So Shizune, uh, Sarada, Sasuke, and Boruto. Okay. Well, if they're all bunched up like this, you can pretty much get that off there and be in good position. I eliminated two of them, I think, right there. I don't really have to worry too much about who he has left, though. He has, like, nobody else. Unless Sasuke Chidori is, but I'm not worried about Chizune. I don't have to do anything. There's a Chidori. Unless that was the Chidori stream, but I'm not worried about anything else now. Okay, I win. Bye, Sasuke. Bye, Sasuke! Uh, hey, stop it. Where's my Sasuke at? It says he has life, but apparently he's dead. Shizune's about to go down. Man, if you don't take out this Sasuke, like, I, don't, I shouldn't have to dirty my hands with my little brother. <laughs> oh, man. Just like to let them finish it. Also, I don't want to get hit by a surprise ultimate, so I kind of just avoid the fight if I've already kind of done my job and I'm confident in my the rest of my team. Uh, and you know what interesting thing is that the AI doesn't use my ultimates. So, for example, Gara has one. Uh, Sasuke has one. Um, oh, we could get bodied by a couple of ninjas on his normal fortress before we get to his main portion. So, yeah, everybody on this team has one except for Shizune. But the, the, the uh, AI doesn't really use them too often. Every now and again, I'll see it do it, but it doesn't do it too often. All right, let's go ahead and move on. This will be the last one of the video, guys. Cause I'm kind of getting tired of attack missions. I've done a bunch of them today. Oh, here we go. Cancer ones. Oh, they're, okay. Cool. Yeah, thanks. Oh, boy. Oh, great. And it knocked me to Shizu or, uh, Shizu excuse me, Hinata. She could potentially have an ultimate. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, try to take her out ASAP. Uh, I wonder where everybody else is at. Sasuke went down, apparently. That's great. That's just great. That, Sasuke went down. That That's perfect. That's perfect. Get out of here. Screw off, Hinata. Where's everybody else at, man? God damn it. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, Shizune and Gara are sticking together. Because that heal will be very useful. I need heal. Aw, oh, crap. I didn't even realize Itachi was so low. Crap. This is some total BS. He's, oh, my God. Really? <laughs> oh, my goodness. What the hell? All right. That's a good note to end it. I was talking about cancer bases, and that is one of them. Oh, my God. That caught me so off guard running into eight tails like that. <laughs> Oh, man, and I totally sprung. And that that's one of the things I can avoid if I play attack missions more and get more familiar with the different base types. 
So that's one of the things I'm going to have to do to get better at it, to kind of know that that could be something I could run into. But, you know, it's it's one of those things that you there's not really much you can do anyway, right? If you just get catapulted to a different stage and get separated from everybody else, there's not a whole lot you can really do. So, anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, regardless, hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, subscribe if you happen to be new. So, anyways, thank you guys for the continued support here on the channel. Have an awesome day. And, uh, yeah, take it easy, guys.